Hi, fifth graders. Welcome to your final week of school. Um, it is June 1st today. Hopefully, hopefully you're watching this on Monday. Um, welcome to your final week of school. I know that this year is definitely not what we thought it was going to be, um, but we really have enjoyed having you every minute um, that we had you in class and through a computer. Um, we really did enjoy our time together. So just want to say thank you. Thanks for being awesome students. Thanks for always trying your best. Thanks for making us laugh and making us smile and um, just being yourselves. It really is just wonderful. Anyways, some final reminders. Okay, this is still a school week, so you need to do attendance every day for every class by six o'clock. So make sure, again, you are taking attendance in each of your classes, whether it's a Google form or a question on Google Classroom, um, you need to do attendance this week. That's priority number one. Priority number two is to get all of your missing work completed. Okay, that's your goal for this week. There is no new required work for many of your teachers. Yay, our little gift to you. Um, that means if you have missing work, get it done. This is the week to do so, okay? The way you know if you're missing work is a couple of ways. One, I would go to Infinite Campus first. Go check it right now. Pause this video and go to Infinite Campus. Check, if see if you have any missing work for fourth quarter. That's what we're focusing on. It's just fourth quarter here. That's where you will have the most up-to-date information. Now, if you have something missing on Infinite Campus, and you're like, but wait, I turned it in on Google Classroom. You might not have actually completed it. So make sure that you actually completed all of the questions. Um, make sure that us as teachers didn't return it to you and say, um, you kind of forgot to do most of this assignment. So um, go back, finish it up if it needs to be finished up and resubmit it back in. So check Infinite Campus. Okay, That's your second priority. If you have any missing assignments, get them done. They're usually in Google Classroom. They're usually listed with the same title. Um, so let's say for science, if you have your ecosystem review worksheet missing, go back to that week of April 27th and click on ecosystem review worksheet and get that one done. Um, that's your second priority. Now, that you've done attendance, you have no missing assignments, we now have created um, some really fun optional activities for you to do this week. Most of them, a lot of them are outside. We are a STEM magnet school, so we want to make sure that we are incorporating the outside and getting away from our screens as much as possible. I know we've been sitting in front of our computers a lot. Trust me, we have two as teachers. So um, we put together a whole bunch of fun activities for you um, to do outside. You can do them with your family, do them with your siblings. Um, you don't have to stop after June 4th. You can totally go into the summer with these fun activities. Um, speaking of June 4th, June 4th, this Thursday is our last day of school. So if you have missing work, it needs to be in by noon on June 4th. Okay. That's when we're cutting it off. That's when we need to be able to grade our work and get it in the grade book before the end of the year. So get all your missing work done, do your attendance every day. Now I do want to show you some of these fun activities, um, because I just want to give you a little heads up at what some of them are. They are really pretty cool. So I'm going to on my display capture, shrink myself. Ooh, there we go. That was a little trippy there. Okay, so now this is what your last week of school kind of fun activities looks like. This is under the optional part on the checklist because um, the checklist is going to look a little different this week. There's just pretty much attendance and getting all your stuff done. Um, here are all some of your fun activities. So there is a fifth grade virtual decathlon. So just like um, with the Olympics, you can click on this to see your virtual activities. Okay, And so you can do complete these activities, record your distance. Um, you can even make your own virtual race bib um, and you can record all of your results on a piece of paper. Okay, Go ahead and share them with us. That would be awesome. Okay, So there's a whole bunch, actually 10, different activities you can do for your virtual decathlon. Um, some other cool ones. If you started your COVID-19 time capsule, this was an option for Miss Mateka all throughout this year um, or through this distance learning time. And you can record your part of your time capsule on Flipgrid. So I made a new Flipgrid right there. Um, there's an outdoor scavenger hunt through REI. If you want to build your own solar oven, um, Wolf Ridge is an, env an environmental learning center. And if you go to this, there's this um, is actually kind of a lesson all about energy. And then it shows you kind of step by step how to build your own solar oven. So um, this is ties really closely in with the unit we just did on energy. You know, it's the ability to do work. Um, so you can kind of scroll through here um, and then it tells you how you can make your own solar oven and do things like maybe roast some marshmallows or create, bake some cookies. Okay, very, very neat. 
Um, June stargazing it is the month of June, and there's some wonderful, awesome things to look at in the night sky. Um, there are these go outdoor activity task cards. There's 17 different ones, and these are ones that can definitely go into the summer and even into the fall if you want to do that with your family, um, whether it's uh, nature journaling and going outside and keeping track of things, kind of like we do with phonology, telling a story. Um, sorry, my computer's a little slow. <laughs> Looking up at the stars on a starry night, can you find the Big Dipper? What other constellations can you find? Um, and there's a bunch of other activities like feathered friends. Um, if you have a bird or seed feeder or suet feeder, you can make one too. Um, sprinkle some seeds, see what kind of birds come. Okay. Um, so this, there's a ton of really neat things on here. Virtual beekeeping trip beekeeping trip, virtual beekeeping field trip. Um, so that's a really neat one to check out. Now we were supposed to go on a field trip back in May, um, middle of May, but we were not able to do so. But uh, some of the three of the groups that were going to be at this field trip actually um, either created a video or shared a slideshow with me that I was able to kind of narrate for them. Um, and I put them on here. I would check out the fun with dogs one because that's actually them showing you what they would have showed you in person. So for sure, check that one out. Okay. Um, and then the last two I really want to show you are pretty neat because they are um, things that you could uh, add to, one of which is yearbook signing. So it says to leave a message or comment for your fifth grade teachers or your classmates. So this is called a Padlet. And this is something that if you did the um, environmental tips, that was just like that. So you can see that Miss Mateka has gone ahead and she has added um, a message for you fifth graders. And so um, she also did one to each of us. Um, and the way that you can add is you can just double click and this little box pops up here. And so you would wanna um, make sure that you're signed in, you can add your title, then you can write something. You can also upload an image or add a link um, as a, like a picture or a snap if you would like. Um, it's just a really fun way to kind of connect with your classmates. If you don't like what you did, you can just press the um, delete post button. Um, but this is a really fun way to just say goodbye and kind of make it more like, Real yearbook signing. Um, the other one is another Padlet and it's nature words. Um, so you can go outside in nature and then start to create a word. Um, and you can also upload it here onto your um, Padlet. So again, you just double click and you would want to probably add a picture or upload a picture if you took it on your phone. Um, so those are some really neat things that you can do to kind of um, just round out the year, some kind of hands-on activities. Again, like I said, most of them are outside um, or things that you do outside, math connections outside, um, other things like that. So definitely worth um, checking out and completing. And like I said, you can even go into the summer with some of these activities as well. Um, so one last thing I do want to say before I sign off, again, it's just thank you. I know that this year, oh, Max, in the background. Um, this year has not been the easiest. It really hasn't. Distance learning is not super fun for anyone involved. Um, but we tried to make our best for you. Um, so we hope you enjoyed what we did do. We hope it was somewhat kind of easy um, and easy to understand, really. Um, we also hope you learned something new. That's always our goal. <laughs> um, so just want to say thank you. We miss you. Um, we hope to see you soon. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe I almost forgot. There is going to be a reverse parade. Okay, so a reverse parade. So all of the Rockford area schools teachers and staff are going to be lining up um, kind of around the high school and kind of the curves around towards the dreams. Um, and we're going to be lining up social distancing, of course. Uh, but then uh, we are going to be out there from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock on June 4th. Now, on this day, you and your family can drive, well, hopefully not you drive, but your family can drive up um, and just like wave, honk, say hello. Um, scream, shout, we miss you. We just want to see your faces. We want to be able to send you off. So again, from two o'clock to three o'clock on June 4th, um, kind of through the uh, high school and it kind of wraps around Reams and through that kind of loop area. Um, you'll definitely see us out there. Um, we can't wait to see you. We really hope we do see you that day um, just to kind of make it feel like a true last day of school and get to wave you goodbye. So um, we are always here for questions. Please ask them. We hope to hear from you soon. Bye.